What is going on guys, it is Bucky and welcome back to your third XHTML tutorial. So in the last tutorial what we did is we made a very very basic website, this website right here. And it doesn't even have anything in the body, all it has is a dumb old title that says this is a title sucker. First of all, I don't appreciate that attitude website and second of all, we need to spruce this website up a little bit and we need to actually add something. I mean how dumb is this website is just a white screen pretty dumb huh so anyways like I said a couple tutorials ago if you remember a website consists of two parts all websites the head which is pretty much all the information that you don't see but the browser needs such as the title keywords for search engines all that good stuff and the body now we didn't even add a body yet but the body is the part where all the images all the links all the paragraphs all that stuff so let's go ahead and build a body right now so we can actually have something to look at other than just a blank white nothing so anyways in order to create the body of your website here's what you need to do outside of your head but still inside that HTML give yourself some space to work first of all and go ahead and type the body tags now in order to create body tags less than and greater than and the keyword for this is body and to end your body less than greater than forward slash body so oh, my forward slash didn't pick up there we go body just like that now anything we type in here is gonna appear in the body of our website so let's go ahead and type I am in the body and let's go ahead and save this and when you save it and refresh it it should pop up so now we have some text in the body that says I am in the body so that is how we put text in the body but if all we knew how to do was put demo text in the body then you know we're not very far on our way to opening a web design business so we need to learn something else and what I'm going to teach you is one of the most basic concepts whenever you write articles or you make titles for your uh, website and that is how to create a header now if you're saying alright what the heck is a header a header is totally different from the head it so don't even you know I shouldn't have even pointed that out because it's probably just gonna confuse you now but a header is pretty much the title think of like the header on a newspaper that says like um, the world is gonna end in 2012 it's pretty much the title that you would put above a paragraph so let's go ahead and we'll keep that I'm in the body but above it but still in your body we're going to add something, like I said, called a header. Now, let me reiterate this one more time. A header is basically a bold, big title. Now, by default, they come in six different sizes. Header 1, header 2, header 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now, header 1 is the biggest title. Header 2 is a little bit smaller, and they keep getting smaller all the way down to 6. But anyways, let me quit talking and go ahead and show you guys an example before I, uh, you know, before I confuse you too much. So in order to make a header, go ahead and in your tags type H1. That's the key tag or keyword for the header. Now let's go ahead and make our ending tag and we'll name this H1. Now anything we type in between here is going to be in the header. So since a header is going to be like a title, let's go ahead and make like the world ends in 2012. That's a good title that might be in the newspapers in the uh, upcoming months so let's go ahead and save this and refresh and I'll show you guys what a header is you can see that it's different than the default text on our web page because not only is it bigger but it's also bolded as well so whenever you're making titles on your web pages or you just want some text to stand out and pop surround it with header tags and it's gonna pop now let me go ahead and copy this and under it, I'm going to control V, uh, that's how you paste. And under it, let's go ahead and change this line to header 2. So what we have in our body right here is we have a big header, a header under it that's slightly smaller, and we have just regular text. So let me show you guys the difference between header 1 and header 2. Let's go ahead and save this and refresh our web page. And it says, bam, the world ends in 2012. This is header 1 this is header 2 
and this is the regular plain old text that isn't surrounded by any tags at all. So now you can see the difference a header makes and the different sizes you get from having one, two, and they keep getting smaller all the way down to six. So anyways, that is how you create a basic header and also add basic text in your body. So pretty simple, I know, but hey, we need this, uh, you know, a good foundation before we can, you know, start adding images and making cool games and stuff like that. I mean, start with the basics and eventually, by the end of these tutorials, we will be a pro at designing websites. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next tutorial.